So with those healthcare workers getting the shot, nursing home patients and staff will be next to roll up their sleeves. Two on your side, Dave McKinley is looking into their preparations and the confusion that came after they were told by the state that they would be first. Despite the CDC's decision to include them in the first phase and Governor Cuomo's assurances that they would be, it turns out that those who are demonstrably the most vulnerable to succumbing to the virus are not included in the initial phase of vaccinations. This has become apparent with every photo released of a hospital worker being inoculated. We reached out to the McGuire Group, which operates several area nursing homes and which confirms our facilities are anticipating the vaccine's arrival within the next seven to 10 days. One reason is because many long-term care facilities opted to take part in a federal program that uses pharmacy chains to facilitate vaccination of staff and residents McGuire confirms it's partnered with Walgreens for this. It also indicates, though, that only a third of its staff and patients will get their first shot next week. Weeks later, they'll get their second or booster shot, while a second group receives their first. Bottom line, it could take months to get everyone in their facilities fully vaccinated. McGuire also made note that all staff and residents must give consent in the form of a phone call, email, or in writing before receiving the vaccine. And that presents another issue for nursing homes. Healthcare workers like these ones can give their consent, but some nursing home patients, especially those with dementia, are not able to, in which case that has to be provided by those who've been granted power of attorney. And in some cases, you have to reach out to several layers of family to get that final approval. Coming up at six, the VA has also begun the vaccinations. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.